Welcome back to Technique Quad. I'm Doug Larson with the Barbell Shrug Podcast. These are a few of our awesome faction athletes that are volunteering for today's episode. Uh, we're going to talk about pushing the prowler. I'm going to show you a couple of different uh, intervals that I like to do. Uh, some of the intervals that I think are the most fun uh, as of pushing the prowler was, was fun at all. It's one of those things that's fun when you get done. Uh, as far as technique goes, there's two different ways you can do it. You have the, the high handles and you have the low handles. So just like pushing a car, if you saw our car push episode, I'll come around here real quick. I want to grab high on the handles here. I want to get nice and low just like this. If you look at my feet, my ankles are straight back. My feet aren't falling like this. One of the most common things I see is people run like that with my feet out. The duck foot stance that you don't want to be in when you're squatting or pushing on the ground in any, in any way. So you want to be here just like this, butt low, drive, drive, drive. If you want, you can kind of spin it at the end to make it easy to turn around and come back the same way. Or, or you can push the high handles down and then come over and get nice and low and push the low handles on the way back. Okay. Uh, so that's basic technique points of pushing the prowler. Elbows locked out, hips low, uh, just like you're, you're a football lineman and you're trying to drive someone off the line, you want to stay as low as possible. Uh, weight wise, you, know, you can go nice and light and have no bumper plates on or you can slide bumper plates on here and make it as heavy as you want to. Uh, the, the options are you know, infinite. So uh, as far as intervals, I like to do 100% full speed intervals. There's two ways that I like to do that. Uh, one is a one-to-one -one ratio where we have two partners. So if we have uh, the two guys come in, um, David will go ahead and push down and back, and then you guys will just switch. So push down and back, and he spins it around, or actually decides to go on the low handles. He goes down back for one, switches partners. He goes down back for one, and then they just keep switching back and forth. Again, you can load the prowler as heavy or as light as you want to. And then they can just go back and forth for more or less as many intervals as they uh, have programmed or as many intervals as you can tolerate, which is what I like to do a lot of times is just uh, do as many intervals um, as, as the athletes feel like. You just stop whenever you feel like you're done. After you've done it a few times and you kind of understand how many intervals um, are going to work best for you, then you can start to add to it. So if you do if you just kind of wing it to see where you're at and you do eight intervals like that, well, maybe next time you try to do nine and the next time you try to do 10. So you use the first couple times you do it to calibrate and then you can start to add volume once you've kind of tested yourself and you know what you're comfortable with and what uh, potentially is too much. Uh, one of the other intervals I like to do is a two to one ratio where you have three partners. So you start with two partners on one side and then one partner on the far side of the room. And in this case, you're just gonna sprint down and switch partners. So, so go ahead and sprint down to that side once he sprints down, he's going to switch. Next person's going to come back. Then you're going to switch again. And you're going to continue just like this. Again, as long as you feel like you can tolerate it. Right now, they're doing nice light pushes. Uh, again, you can make it as heavy or as light as you want to. Um, sometimes the lighter intervals seem like they're harder because you're moving so much faster. So again, it's a it's really up to you on how you want to do it. I'll go ahead and take a break. Um, but that's a fun way to do it where you don't have to look at the clock. You don't have to keep, you know, keep track of your time. You're not going every minute on the minute. You're just, you know, you're going and then the next person goes, the next person goes, and then there's peer pressure on you to, to get your interval done as fast as possible because you're doing it as part of a group or as, as part of a team. So uh, those are two, two of my favorite um, interval styles to do with the Prowler. Um, you know, you can do a million different other things, but those are probably my, my top two favorite ways to do it. Uh, if, it if I'm all by myself, then I, I like to go every minute on the minute. I can just set up the clock on the wall to beep every minute. And then depending on how light I'm going, I'll either do just down one length on the turf uh, or I'll go down back. Again, it depends on how, light, how long your turf is and how heavy the prowler is, you know, how much you're going to be able to do uh, with something like every minute on the minute. So. Uh, Again, million options, and don't get stuck in, in this one way, but these are a couple of my favorites. So if you have more questions about pushing the prowler or this type of interval training, uh, you can always go to barbershrug.com and click the Ask a Question tab at the top of the page, and we can do a technique wad on it in the future.